hands together for the Lord. Oh, come on, I know you can do better than that. Come on, I know that now. You sound like you're clapping for the president. I said, put those hands together for the Lord. Come on, how many know that he's worthy to be praised? Hallelujah. Glory to his name. I know that you have been magnifying and praising the Lord and giving him glory. But I just want somebody before we do whatever it is God is calling us to do in this place tonight to just turn around the three people and just just tell them that tonight is your night for permanent change 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 now i just Some of you all are, are still standing there um, as if as if I said that, and um, I I stopped the music because I believe that this meeting is so called of God until there's nothing that God is going to do this week that is going to be temporary, and so because of that. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. And the reason why I had the musician to just stop the music because the things that God is about to do in us and for us and through us has nothing to do with A flat or B minor. You better learn how to praise God without the organ and without the piano. Because there's going to come a time in your life that you're going to need to lean and depend on the praise that's coming out of your own spirit. Do you understand that when you praise the Lord, what you are saying to the devil, that in spite of what you have done, in spite of what you have said, I still choose to believe God. Now somebody in this place, come on, give God some praise. what you've done, I still choose. Oh, y'all can take your seats in spite of what you have done. I still choose to believe God. Huh. That's something else. I feel that in spite of what the enemy has done, I still choose to believe God. Oh, y'all, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, you ain't really learning how to praise God until you learn how to praise him when the enemy is right in your face. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his high name. You know, sometimes the devil needs to hear you bless God. I know the music can assist us, but the enemy needs to hear you bless God. Because when he hears you bless the Lord, what you are saying to him is that it didn't work. It didn't work. Whatever it is you decided to do, it didn't work. I still got my praise. Ah, God. Still got my praise. Oh, y'all, I am just so happy to be not just in a place that I have never been before, but I'm always, I'm always ecstatic about being, first of all, in the presence of the Lord. And I believe tonight that I am standing in the center of his will. And I don't believe tonight that my being here is just by invitation only. Because I honestly, and unless I am greatly deceived, 
I honestly believe that my footsteps are ordered by the Lord and therefore I sense that the Lord has an appointment with us tonight. I believe that this day was on the agenda of the Holy Spirit before the foundation of the world. And I'm glad to see that so many of you kept the appointment. Thank you, Jesus. I honor one of the greatest men of God that this country has ever seen in the body and the person of Dr. Fred Price. I honor, I honor him and his wife tonight. And I'm not going to, um, you don't know what's really happening to me while I'm standing here because when you don't have real perception of what's going on in your life, then you just think that every pulpit is just another door. But I'm standing in the same footsteps that one of the greatest teachers in this world stands. And therefore, I believe, unless I am still being deceived, that I am receiving a portion of the mantle that rests on this man's ministry. And so I am somewhat overwhelmed and I'm shaken because I'm going to leave out of this place with an anointing to teach like I have never taught before because we don't understand deposits. We don't understand that sometimes the Lord has to get us away from our kinfolk and get us out of where we are and there let me listen 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 let me get there with something think it not strange that we are in the faith though because i believe that there is somebody in this place that god brought you in this place so he can stretch your faith in here and there is a mantle that is in this building and we better not take it for granted One of the gatekeepers of this city. Powerful man. I've never, I don't live that low to hear stuff. Some people live that low. I don't live that low to listen. But Bishop Blake is certainly a statue in the eyesight of many. And I believe that not only is he a statue, but he, along with Dr. Price, are anointed men of God. And just and we'll, 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 we'll get into that in a few minutes because we just, you know, everybody kind of just clapping and just, you know, kind of whatever. But I, I understand. And to Mother Rivers, who is certainly a woman's woman. And if I can just be 5% of the woman she is in God, I will be somebody in the Lord. And Mother, I honor you tonight. I honor you tonight. And to all of the pastors and elders and everybody that is famous and not famous, and everybody, as you know, we out here in California, so... All the stars, whatever you may be. <laughs> oh, God. Get your Bibles, if you would, and turn with me to Second King. Second King. The fourth chapter. Second King. I know some of you are getting ready to stand, but I'm just from the country, so this is just going to be a read-on thing, okay? And I know we're in the faith dome, but I'm from the country, so you know, you can't take the country out of people. I'm just sorry. 
That's probably, that's probably one of the reasons why I won't keep looking at Dr. Price, because you know, I'd be like, that's Dr. Price. That's really Dr. Price. That's him for real. So I just, y'all just have to excuse me. I just can't be nobody but myself. Can't be nobody but myself. I have been running with a word that I felt that God had so impressed in my spirit because when I look at where we are in this generation of people, I am somewhat, um, I want to say I'm nervous for us. And I'm um, nervous because even as I proceeded a few minutes ago to give honor to Mother Rivers and Dr. Price and, and Bishop, and being raised in the church just about all of my life, and that really doesn't mean anything because a lot of the junk I got into, I got into with church people, so it, it, that really, you know, that doesn't erase. Years does not denote maturity. That just only signify how many years you've wasted time. And so, I look at us, and if you don't mind me saying us, and I see a generation of people, and just let me let me just deal with this for a minute. That frightened me because I'm looking for God in us, and what I am seeing is a lot of the of God oh this is going to be something but I don't see the power thereof now let me just explain what God said to me the other day he said do you not know that many people have stolen my form and he said do you not know that my form can get you on television and my form can 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 help you to build churches and my form can can get you on TBN and my form can can get you hooked up with the latest preachers in the latest cities in the latest uh, conferences he said but it's my power that causes change to come about in people's lives and then he said something strange to me. He said, I want you, and this was just about five days ago, he said, I want you to be careful that you are not just blessing people, but you are helping people. Because I get a lot of people that 